Join us this week as we travel from Streaky Bay to Smoky Bay. We check out the Talia Caves, Murphy's Haystacks and Paluby Beach. sink the connection has got like a treaded rod under the actual tap and that connects onto the um, bottom of the sink but that rattled off it wasn't really an issue but I was afraid that if we ever left the pump on and we left the caravan and if it did rattle loose then it would actually just keep pumping water because it wouldn't pressurize um, so quick but an awkward fix you're very comfy though with your pillows a bit too comfy yeah I did um I did try to get away with trying to ask him just to get the spanners for me. No, so, try and get away. You did get away. Did get away. <laughs> and then you told me. I put my hand up, and you know, just like holding something, and just got my spanners for me. And then I'm um, like, back at the back. <laughs> I didn't need to, I was way too comfy in one spot. So. But we're done now. Job fixed. Good job. We left Walker's Rock. Yeah, we left Walker's Rock this morning and checked out the nearby Talia Caves, the Woolshed oh, Cave. Yeah. Yeah. And that was really nice. And now we're, we stopped in at Port Kenny Hotel for some lunch. And now we're just at the Murphy's Haystacks with mm. some boulders that are 33,600 mm. years old. And then on to, yeah, by Smoky Bay. So we'll Streaky see. Bay. Streaky Bay, sorry. Yeah. So we'll just see what the weather's like. We're meant to be camping on the beach, looking onto the water but uh, there's meant to be a westerly wind and a storm coming in so if uh, it's still looking like that then we might try to find somewhere else to have a look yeah so we pulled into Smoky Bay, Streaky Bay? Streaky Bay Streaky Bay, up to Paluby Beach but this is our first time actually paying for, um, for water yeah, usually we just rock up and it's free yeah, a little bad reviews about this one um, just people I think annoyed by having to pay for it and I think the quantities aren't quite right, so it's 25 litres, but they reckon you get about 20. Um, so for us, not too bad, we're only filling up um, one of our tanks. So we're only putting 150 odd litres into it. Um, I think some people are putting in, you know, three, 400 litres and the price is adding up. But uh, yeah, let's we'll see what goes. It's fine out, dump points, clean, tidy, water. Seems fine, they reckon it tastes nice. And the review, so let's see how we go. Yeah. We've just arrived at Paluby Beach and Presently, we are letting the air out of the tires down to 18. 18, yep. First um, time. First time for the caravan, first time driving on the beach with the caravan. Um, so it's going to be exciting, but we just walked up the beach, which was great exercise for the afternoon, just to check out exactly where we're going and the conditions of the road up there and it's hard as you get on but it gets soft so and the, the tide is high so got to be real careful about it anyway it's an amazing view can't wait to show you guys so this is our first time driving the caravan on the beach um, so we just walked down first got some advice off the people beside us and uh, we're dumping the airs down uh, air tires down and um, we picked a good time just because it's actually low tide about an hour and a half ago high tide an hour and a half ago so tides on its way out uh, so at least that gives us a while that if there is any issues with um, if there is any issues with um, getting stuck, getting stuck, at least we have time to fix it. Yeah, it's good.
attempting to do something smart and uh, prep all our uh, food because we're going to go over the Nullarbor soon and just sort of knowing that fresh produce um, is going to be pretty scarce so um, you know just making sure that we've got lots of food and we don't eat out and we eat lots of healthy things and blah blah blah. So today um, we're on Paluby Beach but we've decided to have a bit of a prep day. Um, we bought a ton, we probably bought like two weeks worth of food yesterday um, with the idea that we're going to prep. So we've just cut up like, um, I'll just show you with the camera here, we've just cut up all of this fruit and veg um, and this is basically like getting us ready for stir fries and tacos and pizzas just so we have everything there and we'll, and we'll freeze that all. We've then also got all of this um, chicken and steak and mints that we've got ready. Um, and we're just vaccinating it now before we left Sydney we actually um, spoiled ourselves and bought ourselves uh, like a food backpack machine so Paul's just getting the generator working it's cut out halfway through us doing this backpack procedure um, but we've got the um, yeah the backpack food saver that we're just getting everything sort of backpack and sealed um, we didn't read the instructions fully properly beforehand you're actually meant to pre-freeze the meat um, and that uh, helps I guess take out a lot of the moisture so we've had to actually put in a lot of towels um, with our meat but anyway great news we're almost finished and then Paul just chatted to our neighbors and did the neighborly thing and said we're just gonna put on the generator for a little bit is that okay with you guys we're just doing some food prep um, and then they were like oh you going to WA because they're pretty strict on the water about all the food <laughs> So we may have just wasted a whole day um, and we may need to spend another week in South Australia eating the food. Um, but anyway, we'll check it out, we'll see how it goes and we'll see if um, you know we're allowed to take it in if it's frozen, maybe. Uh, we, we, we'll see and let you know. So we're on Paluby Beach, is it? Yep. Um, came in two nights ago. Um, it was really good, though the health people got us in, but the tide the night before had come way up to the door, so they said to pull up nice and high. We got up onto the back by the soft sand, but just trying to level it. We didn't really think about it. We probably should have leveled the spot first and drove onto it, but we didn't. So we kind of had to go back and forth, back and forth. We got a little bit stuck. Um, it might pop out. We haven't really tried it yet, but just for safety, we dug in some max tracks. Hopefully, a bit of good news. It'll just pop out. Pop out that easy. Yeah, that was great. The least fun part about driving on the beach, especially with a caravan with the, the dual axles having to air everything up, but the tires in the caravan are so small. I think they're only probably 30 trees and they're quite narrow, so they don't hold a lot of air, so they fill up really quickly. So normally um, with the car, because the car is 35s, we, um, we fill them up to drive well on the road and then if there's a town nearby we just pull in and finish them off, um, which we we're going to do for everything here because we're going to go back to, uh, is it um, Smoky Bay? Yeah. Streaky Bay? No, Streaky Bay, yeah. We're going back to Streaky Bay, but it's actually filling them up so quickly we'll just air up these fully and get the uh, safety day of sensors back on um, and we'll see how the car goes. Yeah. Whether we air it or not, but we have a cool, um, air gun for it so it's fierce handy for on the beach you can just blow off all the air either out of uh, any of the gulls on the um of the windows on the troop bay or just off the max tracks so these are handy as so at the moment we're waiting on a bracket to be delivered for the racks on the roof because we've solar panel on one side and surf was on the other so i can't fit them long ways like most racks so i have to fit them across the back side as so we're waiting on them to be delivered so at the moment we're storing them just in the back of the car but these are fierce handy just on the arb compressor Low gun, but we actually use it for when we're washing the car to blow out the gull um, in the window for all the water builds up. It's handy to do this, just for getting all the sand off. So Zeus has made a friend in uh, Streaky Bay. There's a bridge like a cross of a uh, what dragon she is? A sheepdog and a... But 
she was purging and she was jumping out of the water chasing the bird probably 40, 50 meters offshore. Yeah, she swam by 100 meters offshore and then came off and she's, she's loving Zeus. Hi <laughs> right, Jess, so what have we done now? We have found a dog and she's so beautiful. <laughs> she's she's class. We're in this really little small town and like she's just been running around for hours. Zeus hates her. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't hate her. They're loving They're playing each other. Yeah. And, um, and no one knows who owns it. I called the caravan park and they said we have no idea who owns it. We thought she might be local. So, local. long story short, we're booked in for a campsite uh, a few kilometres up the road. Until we find her owner. <laughs> but we're the caravan park. Or well, we now have two dogs. <laughs> I said to the caravan park, you know that woman who just rang, rang about the last dog? And she goes, yeah, well, long story short, we're um, now going to mind it until the owner comes, <laughs> deep space for us. <laughs> so the caravan park was really, really good. So I think they were quite busy, but they made space for us there. So She's we're going to wait in Smoky Bay for the night. Um, and she's hopefully the owner comes. Yeah, she's lovely. Yeah. She's so but yeah, so. So update part two. We have a we have an address. So we have a name Chipper. See that? Uh, it's, a boy, it's a boy. Yep. Yeah. So we got a we got a name, and the people are away. So we have a an address to leave them off in. So we're just gonna go up there and see what that's like. No. Thank you for watching Irish Turn Oz. And don't forget to like and subscribe.